bets to kick off our group in the MLB series bets for this weekend are going to be eight of them. And we're going to go with the Pirates upset and the Yankees plus 165. Got the Marlins upset and the Braves this weekend plus 190. Got the Blue Jays winning over the Red Sox this weekend minus 180. We got the Mets uh, winning this weekend over the Reds, kind of sending them into the um, abyss of the MLB possibly. But I could light them with the minus 145. We got the Guardians in the Rangers uh, situation. Rangers got a lot of pressure on them this weekend. Guardians trying to play one last great few weeks for their great manager, and Terry Francona, who did take them to their last World Series almost eight years ago. And um, you have the Royals as my big dog this weekend. Um, I like them a lot. Plus 250. Astros seem to always choke up against some of the bottom – level teams in the MLB. And I think that the Royals won't be the exception to that. I think, you know, they'll be absolutely on the money in this one and take two out of three. So I like the plus 250 here. And then I like the Cubs with the minus 135. This should be another really strong play um, for us this weekend as well, too. Diamondbacks, I know I'm on the Diamondbacks to um, possibly get into the playoffs because I just love the way that they played this season. And I know that they'll be a little exciting in the playoffs as well, too. But they're going to really have to to – grit down this weekend and i think the cubs are going to have more grit this weekend that's why i'm taking them and then i like the mariners tonight with the plus 120 as well too i know that i'm it's a little bit of blast for me because you know i'm a dodger and da 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 but at the end of the day um if i know that they're going to lose some money then i'm gonna have to go with the other side when the other side looks like they're the more favorable you know what i mean you can't sit up in here and play favorites with nobody, even if it's a team that you you admire, you follow, you watch, all that good stuff. You have to bet with the open mind. I don't know how many times I got to stress this to y'all. All right, so we move forward. And we have the MLB primetime pick six, 90 to one. We have the under seven and a half with the Yanks and the Pirates today. Our dog of the day is the Mar Marlins money line plus 140. We got the over eight with the Rangers and the Guardians today. We got the plus one and a half with the White Sox minus 115. And then we have the Royals money line plus 150. And then we wrap it up with the Brewers today with the run line plus 115. All right. So that's going to be a 90 to, one, 90 to 1 ticket right there. And that looks really good because if you put up 10 bucks, you get back 900. If you put up $20, you get back 1800. So just know that I'm giving you guys some great math to get you some great payouts as well too. Not that little easy rinky dinky stuff that gets you what? You put up a 6 to 1 and you get a 3 to 1 uh ticket back for you. That's yeah, okay, you got 3 to 1 on it, but damn, you still had to put up $100 to get 300. Let's play this thing smart. I give you this 90 right here, you get 20 bucks on it. Then you got $1800. You paying rent and you get to go to Vegas. So, it is what it is. Moving forward. All right, so we have the MB MLB late pick 415 to 1. I got the Cubs minus 145 tonight, uh, taking care of their business. I got the Giants under 10 and a half at Coors Field tonight. And then we got the Tigers and Angels facing off at the Big A. So I'm taking the Tigers tonight on the run line plus 145 because they have Tariq Schoolball on the bound tonight as well, too. And then we have the Padres and the A's over at the Cali in Oakland. And I do feel like this game goes over the eight and a half. So let's move forward and get into tonight's college football. And we have up first the CFB Friday Night Lights pick three, six to one. Um, San Antonio, seven and a half point uh, favorite tonight. Hopefully they can win this game by two touchdowns or more or 10 or more. And then we have Virginia in the DMV rivalry against Old Foe, Maryland tonight. I like them as the road squad with the plus 15 tonight to really surprise everybody's tickets because I know that the one of the more popular tickets today is going to be on Maryland when you look at Virginia's record and you look at how Virginia is coming into this game. And then we finish up with another rivalry game in a sense, Utah State and Air Force. You know, you got the battle of the boys from Provo going against the boys from Colorado Um Springs, and this should be a fun, fun game. So we'll see how it goes. And I like the six to one here as well, too. So let's move forward and we jump into the CFB Rise and Shine pick six. This is actually going to be all games that kick off at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific time. 
And if you're in the central, 11. If you're in the mountains, 10. Okay. So 66 to 1. Akron plus 26 in their spot. I think that they should be able to cover that game. BC plus 25 going against Florida State. They're going to give Florida State hell. I'm just letting you know that right now. It's always an issue when Florida State has to deal with Boston College. And Boston College is at home this time around, so I don't see them losing by four touchdowns. I think that they lose this one by 17 or less. All right, so we have Ohio at home. I'm taking them with the plus 130. I know Ohio is in a situation where they are playing against a team that's from the Big 12, but it don't matter. Iowa State has been a little shaky to start this season. Ohio is supposed to be one of the better teams in the conference. They did look really good against San Diego, but work got hurt early. But they were able to figure some things out in that game and got a lot better. So this week, I wouldn't overlook them in this spot, to be honest with you. I like the plus 130. You got James Madison in a conference matchup this week against Troy. James Madison, to me, is the best team in the uh, Sun Belt Conference as well. And I think that they're going to prove so prove my point tomorrow when they face off against the um, Troy uh, – I'm trying to think of Troy's uh, – the Troy Trojans. Yeah, I think that's what they are, Trojans. All right, so – We have LSU in their uh, conference matchup tomorrow with Mississippi State, a good, nice old foe. They're going to be tearing Starksville up tomorrow, but I like LSU with the nine and a half to win that game by 10 or better, really two touchdowns or better. I did not like the way that Mississippi played against – I did not like the way Mississippi State played last week, period, point blank. That team that they played, they should have beat them by 30 points. You know what I mean? The Mississippi State that was coached by the great Mike Leach. Now this group, they're a little different. All right, and we finish up with their neighbors to the south, east, west. I don't know, but they they in Louisiana as well to the other Louisiana school, Louisiana Tech, and um, I really do like them coming into their game as well too. I'm taking them with the four and a half. They're going against Old Foe, North Texas, who moved on to the AAC. It should be a fun game there as well too. All right, so we have ourselves the final group, the final ticket, and this is going to be the CFB Power 5 Super High 5, 68 to 1. We just reviewed all the games for the um, – I just reviewed all the games for um, this yesterday. So you guys can go to the YouTube channel, um, Prime Wave Media, and you guys can actually watch all the clips of that there. But I said I wanted Illinois yesterday. I'm taking a plus 15 still on Illinois. I said I was going to take Michigan State yesterday. I'm taking a plus 16 and a half on Michigan State. I said I was going to take Minnesota money line. I'm taking Minnesota money line plus 225. I said I was taking TCU seven and a half because I feel like they're going to absolutely scorch Houston. I'm taking the seven and a half TCU. And then I'm finishing up in the rival game. The SEC game of the week between Florida and Tennessee, and I feel like Tennessee goes to Gainesville as usual and gets their feelings hurt. I'm taking Florida with the plus 185 to do what they do best, beat Tennessee. So with that, that's going to be a wrap on Talking Tickets today. I want to go ahead and thank you guys so much for tuning in to the show. You guys are the absolute best. As I always say, bet with your head, not with your heart. The movement is moving, and this is the premier sports betting show, the primetime angles with the one and only Pop DiBiase, the primetime capper, and be on the lookout for all my uh, bets and picks and all that good stuff for college football tomorrow and for the NFL on Sunday. Possibly I might be doing talking tickets on Instagram. You guys know that's a show that we've done for years on years, but I'm hopefully I can have enough time to do it because Sundays move quick before we get the kickoff. But all in all, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys press that play button. Make sure you're pressing subscribe. Make sure that you're sharing this. Make sure that you're retweeting this. Let's get these numbers up. All right. So with that, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy your weekend as well, too. And I am
from the east and the west you've heard others but now you've tuned into the best this is a prime wave media production